स्पर्श यादव एंड यू आर फ्रॉम गुड़गांव गुड़गांव इज ए वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सिटी विद लॉट ऑफ सिविक प्रॉब्लम्स यस सर टेल मी वन टू थ्री सिविक प्रॉब्लम्स ऑफ गुड़गांव सिटी सर सिविक प्रॉब्लम्स सर रिसेंटली आई थिंक द इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर प्रॉब्लम्स आर देयर सर ड्यू टू द रेन रेन्स इन द रेनी सीजन वी गेट अ लॉट ऑफ क्लॉगिंग इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर इज गुड व्हाट इज द प्रॉब्लम विद इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर इन गुड़गांव सो द सर ड्रेनेज सिस्टम ड्रेनेज सिस्टम यस सर सो द ड्रेनेज सिस्टम पर्टिकुलरली दैट इज वन ऑफ द प्रॉब्लम्स सर सेकंडली आई थिंक सर वेस्ट मैनेजमेंट इज एन इशू we have a bandwari landfill that is uh, uh, getting a lot of uh, so where that all money going because uh, gurgaon municipality corporation they are earning lot of money uh, yes sir yes, so is being diverted to some other place uh, sir i think more efficient utilization of those funds uh, should be done sir hmm. uh, so so that uh, that money is actually uh, so waste management so it has been in plans for a few years now but it waste energy plant has still not been set up waste segregation is not there from the houses Uh, sir, it is actually there, but the people who collected that are not. Uh, they are not doing it actually. They are not. Doing. Yes, sir. Do they have to collect only? Uh, Waste segregation issue down by the uh, house owners. He correct, sir. Hmm. Sir, we are supposed to put uh, in different uh, bins. Sir, but when we see when they are actually loading it, sir, they are doing yeah. it, okay. doing it in the same. Okay. What is this uh, ethical hacking? I thought hacking is always unethical. Uh, sir ethical hacking sir is when uh, we are ha- we are hacking a particular website but with the permission of the owner of that website so that makes it eth- eth- ethical with hacking with the permission yes sir why he allow you to hack sir he is allowing it to hack because uh, if uh, someone is able to figure out a problems before end so uh, other person cannot exploit it actually so they are actually allowing you to uh, they are saying it okay come attack our website but uh, tell us the uh, problems and we'll pay you for that no that uh, they are come asking you to set it right uh, yes so they are asking us to exploit it uh, just like a hacker would do just mm-hmm. like a black hat hacker would do uh, he will try to attack it but in ethical hacking they will say attack it uh, do hack it but and tell us how did you do, do that and or, or and make it right uh, so the right making it right part they have to do it themselves sir i don't know whether you call it hacking i thought uh, ethical hacking is when Uh, government is authorizing you to find out something that is uh, yes sir, sir even government can do that sir huh? even go- government can ask us uh, you can attack our website what are the problems you figure out tell us and we will fix that acha okay <clears throat> uh, you know you read uh, general musarraf general musarraf you heard about yes sir who was he uh, sir he was a uh, prime minister of uh, pakistan prime minister uh he was prime minister of pakistan no something else sir uh, president of uh, pakistan sir i am not sure sir and uh, he is architect of something big against india uh, sir i am sorry i am not some war kargil war uh, yes sir not hard sir i have heard of kargil uh, war but the details i am not sure sir not sir acha okay uh, see ipl games were there recently yes, organized sir. tell me who are the actors <coughs> who were the actors in ipl game who all were involved in organizing the games from the beginning till end just 1 2 3 4 5 6 sir so i am aware of uh, just one actor who owns the kolkata night not actor not film actor i am telling you yes sir <laughs> don't take literally who were the participant <laughs> who were the stakeholders uh, okay uh. Uh, so i'm not aware of uh, bcci players uh, yes. advertising agencies yes sir eh? that stadium correct sir players right sir no yes sir uh, s- okay uh, finance commission yes sir central finance commission state finance commission correct sir these are the uh, under what provisions of constitution and what is the difference so finance commission is under article uh, 280 Uh, so the main aim is to see the vertical devolution of funds from the central government to the state government. Uh, so state finance commission. What type of funds? Uh, sir, it is uh, sir the tax revenue, and also it deals with the grants to the states. Uh, so the revenue deficit grants we have, we have. Uh, okay, okay, the other one. Uh, so the other one is uh, so under the uh, for set up under seventy third and the seventy fourth constitutional mm-hmm. amendment act. So it is uh, set up in the state. 
for devolution of funds from the uh, state government to the local uh, bodies like panchayats and the central finance commission they don't uh, make any recommendation about the local bodies so they do that so they also do that uh, so they also provide grants for that sir. okay air quality management in ncr yes sir is there any body legal body for that yes sir so recently uh, the cent- the central government modified it so it's a central air quality management uh, body is there hmm. so that is responsible uh, for management commission some commission is there Yes, sir. Sent, yes, sir. Okay. Very recently, they have issued some orders about coal. Uh, yes, sir. So, yes, a few days back only. So, they issued that uh, the coal usage in the, uh, the NCR will be banned from 2023, except for the thermal power plants. And thermal power plants also some type of coal is allowed. Uh, sir, sir, I am not sure about okay. that, sir. Yes, yes. Okay, Mr. Spurs, what does Spurs mean? Uh, sir, Spursh means uh, sir, touch. Touch. Uh, yes. Sir. Can you name the sense organs? How many sense organs are there? So, there are five sense organs, sir. Mm-hmm. So, that would be our eyes, uh, nose, uh, taste. Uh, so, then we have ears and then we have touch, sir. Then we have? Uh, sir, uh, skin for uh, touch. Okay. Yes, sir. So, one of these. Spursh. Yes. Huh? Yes, okay, good. So, you are an aerospace engineer. Correct, sir. Okay. So, once President Biden was talking to an aerospace engineer in the United States and he said that Indian Americans have taken over the United States, on what ground he might have said like that, the Indian Americans have taken over the United States? Uh, sir, uh, I believe he meant that a lot of Indian diaspora is uh, in the United States and they are uh, do, uh, doing very well in corporate sector. So, they have been appointed as uh, CEOs of several companies. So, in order of priority, Indian Americans have taken over the United States. You are right, whatever you have said, but prioritize. Who should come at one, number one, then two, then three? In order of priority, in order of importance of the work which they are handling, in order of the course which they are handling. Sir, that would be, sir, I believe, uh, com- uh, sir. Uh, so, you believe or uh, it's right? Sir, it's uh, right, sir. Yeah, she is the vice president. Yes, sir. Indian American. What is her name? Uh, sir, Kamala, Har- uh, Kamala Harris. Then, why are you so reluctant in saying that starting from Kamala Harris, who is the vice president there? Correct, so, who else? Uh, now you continue whatever you were saying. Right, sir. Mm. So, Na- and name some. Yes, sir. So, we have uh, the CEO of uh, Microsoft, Satya Nadella. That's right. So, mm. we have CEO of Twitter as well. Mm-hmm. Uh, Na- name, na- na- name him. Sir, I don't remember the name of... Uh, mm-hmm. Who else? Uh, so, we have... Uh, um, So, I cannot remember the name of other. And the so aerospace that, engineer whom he was talking to. Mm. Aerospace engineer when with whom he was talking to. Very famous aerospace engineer, Indo- Indian American. Swati Mohan. Who else? Mm. <coughs> she was Swati Mohan, right, whom so. he was talking. What for she is responsible? Uh, aerospace engineer, as in his aerospace engineer. So, uh, sir, I'm not sure. Can I make a guess for mm-hmm. this? Sir, I think she was involved in the Perseverance rover landing on Mars. Yeah, that's right. Yes, sir. So, who else? Indian American, very big. So, Sundar Pichai is a Yeah, Sundar Pichai. Who else? And recently, a CTO, Chief Technical Advisor, has also been appointed in CIA. You know CIA? And what is his name? Chief Technical uh, Officer, CTO, uh, again Indian American. Say about a fortnight back, he has been appointed for the first time. Right, sir. CTO in CIA, you know CIA? Uh, yes, sir. What is that? Uh, sir, it's a Central Investigation Agency for, yeah. for US. Uh, yeah. Hmm. So, what is his name? Sir, I'm sorry, sir, I'm not aware. Okay, no problem. Now, related with mathematics. Yes, sir. Which is the smallest number which is divisible by all the digits 1 to 10? A smallest number 
which is divisible by all 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 with all the digits so that would be uh, anyway 2520 is divisible by all from oh, 1 to 10 right sir okay 2520 correct sir okay now blockchain technology first of all you will tell me what do you mean by blockchain technology and how can it help us in reducing the corruption and bring about transparency in the government delivery correct sir mm -hmm. so blockchain blockchain technology uh, is uh, basically a distributed ledger Mm -hmm. It is a collection of uh, blocks in which we record uh, transactions mm -hmm. and nowadays even a piece of code can be injected in those particular blocks uh, as an Ethereum blockchain. Uh, so, <coughs> they are basically, uh, blocks are verified by miners who are given a reward for particular, um, for particular verification of a block. And so, this blockchain technology is, uh, can find uh, application in uh, various domains uh, because, uh, so first of all, the, uh, the entire ledger is public. So, anyone with the access to ledger can uh, view the details of the ledger. Okay. Uh, is transpiration, you know transpiration? Uh, yes, sir. Is transpiration a necessary evil? You know transpiration? What is transpiration by the way? Sir, transpiration, uh, sir, is it uh, related to the, uh, the uh, forestry part, sir? Transpiration in plants. Transpiration plants. Oh, right. Forestry also yes, is sir. related with, yeah, yes, plants sir. are there. Yes, oh. sir. So, transpiration, you know transpiration? First of all, you tell me what do you mean by transpiration and then you will tell me whether at all it is a necessary evil. Sir, so, so transpiration is when they are losing water vapor to the atmosphere. Plants are losing water vapor to the atmosphere. Uh, sir, Releasing in the atmosphere. Huh? Yes, sir. So that is the transpiration. Uh, yes, sir. So, during the process of photosynthesis. Uh, during the process of photosynthesis, they, they do transpiration. Huh? So, so, during the photosynthesis, mm. they make the food and when they are consuming it, so that particular time when carbon, uh, when oxygen and uh, water is being released. So, what? Transpiration, just an evaporation of water. Yes, Water sir. web, water from the uh, leaves. Correct, sir. From lenticels. Correct, particularly sir. from the leaves. Yes, sir. So my question is whether at all it's a necessary evil. You understand the meaning of necessary evil? Yes, sir. Uh, then tell me. Uh, sir, so water vapor are one of the major contributors to the uh, greenhouse gases. So uh, no, no greenhouse the... gases. Anyway, come to the greenhouse gases. Uh, yes, my question is uh, whether at all greenhouse gases affect a necessary evil. Sir, it is necessary because it helps in maintaining the temperature of the That's earth. right. And what about enhanced greenhouse effect? Sir, that is when uh, uh, the concentration of these gases is much larger uh, and the loss of heat from the earth is uh, less compared to... Very the right. So, enhanced greenhouse effect and, mm. and ozone depletion are the major causes of global warming yes sir okay now you tell me what do you mean by o good ozone and bad ozone sir so ozone uh, sir at the stratospheric level it is uh, good because it is filtering out the uv lights uh, uv rays uh, so whereas on the in the troposphere at the low earth surface uh, they are uh, sir harmful okay ozone hole is getting enlarged or getting reduced uh, sir, we, it's, so this is one of the uh, one of the uh, things that we have managed to uh, uh, improve it, so that it is getting reduced. Okay, sir. thank you. Thank you, sir. All right, Mr. Yadav. So after electronics, why did you go in for aerospace? Uh, sir, aerospace, uh, sir, I was, uh, uh, sir, there were thing, few things that I was uh, always curious about. Sir, I was interested how uh, rockets are guided to the uh, orbit. So, to basically understand that, uh, sir, I chose for aerospace and my specialization in aerospace was guidance, navigation and control. Mm -hmm. So, in which we are taught, uh, we are basically learn and experiment how rockets are guided to the orbit. And sir. you did work in Tejas for one or two years? Yes, sir. Then, uh, why you want to shift to uh, forest? Because you are working in your core area and your core interest. Yes, sir. Uh, sir, so there are a few reasons why I want to go for forestry now. 
so firstly sir i believe that uh, forestry and environment sustainable management of environment will be central to the development we cannot have development uh, unless th that we have sustainable we manage our environment properly so secondly sir i came across this excerpt from jawaharlal nehru's speech in which he says we are small men serving a great cause so, so that thing i believe that uh, uh, functioning as a the government where we i'll be ex ex executing the <coughs> sovereign functions so that is the one thing and so uh, finally uh, sir i believe that forestry gives me a very wide domain sir we have uh, everything in forestry even when i was studying for my forestry optional we saw that we have legislation uh, we have ecology we have uh, remote sensing we have forest engineering so it's a very wide domain sir mm. all right um, this uh, space is a common heritage okay sir that uh, we had this uh, outer space treaty in 1950s there was an yes, outer sir. space treaty uh, 60s in fact yes sir uh, in the recent time do you think it has been diluted So yes, the treaty was signed in 1967. Uh, yes. Sir, so sir, I think uh, the the, te the type of technology we had then uh, was very different from what the technology and the capabilities we have today. So, so I do believe that it has uh, there's need for updating it. So, so it mainly deals with putting uh, uh, weapons of mass destruction in the orbit. But now we are coming up with new challenges like the space debris and peaceful use of moon, Mars. So these things are uh, will be a concern now. Uh, most importantly, it is to do with the mining. Yes, sir. Correct, so recently, sir. Uh, a lot of uh, private players have entered the scene. Like we must be aware, SpaceX and mm -hmm. Elon Musk yes, and sir. all that. Bezos. So, uh, 2015, the government of uh, US government also changed certain laws mm, yes, and sir. Uh, allowed the corporate to take over. Correct, so sir. That way, it has been diluted, is it not? Correct, sir. So, so uh, again, sir, we need some uh, laws to regulate those corporate players, sir. If they are exploiting minerals from an asteroid, uh, like they have, they have laws in US. They have laws, but it is international laws has been contravened. Yeah. Correct, sir. Sir, sir, uh, sir. I think there's need to uh, sir improve that, like make some laws that that regu that uh, some nations we have to commit a consensus as uh, sir, as US has laws, but we need to commit a consensus that how the resources need to be exploited, sir. I think that it has been diluted, sir. Mm -hmm. So you mentioned that you are interested in guided uh, technology. What did you say, uh, sir? In guidance navigation. Yeah, guidance yes. navigation and so Co on. And control, yes, sir. And control. Now, if AI comes into play, and that mm -hmm. is going to come in near future, yes, sir. Very, very near future. Uh, the world is going to be much unsafer, is it not? Because if AI is going to control our uh, our uh, emanations. Yes, sir. Then it is going to be an unsafe world. Correct, sir. Uh, so, so AI has uh, some positive sides and uh, some challenges that might uh, occur. So, so positive sides when it comes to let's say uh, uh, self-driving cars in Tesla, where AI is able to manage uh, uh, avoid avoid accidents and reduce the hu loss of human life. So, in that sense, AI no, can I, be helpful. See, AI is not based on human experience. I'm talking about deep learning. Neural network based AI. Correct, sir. Unlike the classical algorithms uh, of binary computers. So, uh, it is going to take its own decisions and it is going to suggest us what decisions should be taken in case of a crisis. Correct, sir. We cannot question it because the thinking is much superior than ours. Right, sir. So, that way, most countries will have their own AIs and they will take decisions based on what AI is suggesting. So, yes. it makes the world much more unsafer, is it not? Correct, sir. So, so we need to, uh, so definitely that would, if we let AI uh, rampantly take decision, that will definitely make, uh, uh, sir, a world unsafe because AI is actually based on a cost function. If the cost function is not uh, managed properly, so it can uh, uh, not, it, it will not uh, work properly, sir. So, so basically, we can uh, see in which critical areas. AI needs to, we can use AI for making decision in which critical areas human intervention is needed. No, that is true, but do you agree that it's going to make the world unsafer? Yes, sir, if we allow AI to... Uh, Not allow, every country is going to look for optimal decisions. Yes, sir. And AI is providing all these optimal decisions. It's also able to see reality or... Uh, uh, thinking which human beings are not capable for. Correct, sir. S uh, sir, I believe that AI does perform better, so I think that would be helpful. Sir, if we are sure, it won't be a disastrous mm -hmm. thing, sir. Mm -hmm. Tell us, uh, last question, tell us about post-quantum uh, encryptions and the role of mathematical based algorithms. Uh, sir, quantum encryption? Not quantum encryption, post-quantum encryptions. Post-quantum encryption. Uh, 
sir, I'm not. Do you know what is the difference between quantum encryptions and post quantum encryptions? Uh, no, sir, I'm not. As the quantum computer gains supremacy, there is a threat for the digital world. Yes, sir. So we need uh, new algorithms, mathematical based algorithms. Correct, sir. The correct. prime number based is. You are aware of it. Yes, sir. Right, Shor's sir. algorithm and so on. It mm. can easily decrypt. Yes, sir. Right, sir. So the challenge is to have a new mathematical algorithms. Are you aware of what is the latest regarding this field? Uh, sir, I am aware that there is a challenge on prime number based algorithm, but the, sir, what are the alternatives available, sir? I am uh, not aware of those. Maybe could read about it. Yeah. You doing? Do. Yeah, yeah. You are doing fine. Thank you. I do that, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay, so Sparsh, right? Yes, sir. You have been engaged in security audits and finding vulnerabilities, ethical hacking, etc. Yes, sir. Can you tell me what is endpoint security? So endpoint uh, is it, sir? You are referring to the uh, APIs. Uh, I am talking in general about what is endpoint security. Uh, so endpoint security, uh, sir. Uh, that particular term, sir, I have not come across. Uh, but sir, I would uh, assume that it is re related to the application programming interface APIs because those are the endpoints user communicate with. Not always, but let's move to another question. Yes. Again, you tell me what is this institutional structure for cyber security in India? So very recently, uh, we had uh, 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 formulated a, a CERT team, a cyber emergency response team. Uh, mm -hmm. So we are also so coming up with uh, uh, a civil civil volunteer program uh, that would be helpful in uh, uh, keeping an eye on these WhatsApp messages and these things. And so these operate under the Ministry of Home Affairs. Uh, so so these are the things I can recall right now. Uh, are you aware of the National Cyber Security Policy? So sorry, sir, I'm not aware. Okay. Can you tell me what is critical infrastructure? So critical infrastructure, so we have these power power plants, uh, uh, so we also have these dam control systems, control systems to manage the dams, turbine speeds and all. So very recently, so we were made aware that in the Bombay power plant, there were malware from China that was there. In, so it was in Bombay power plant? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, recently, Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology issued some VPN regulations. Okay. Are you aware of them? Uh, sir, uh, Sir, I think I am aware, sir. I, I can remember that they mentioned that uh, people, that the VPN companies have to re keep a record of people who are using the VPN. Okay, anything else? Uh, sir, no, sir. I'm not. What is VPN? Sir, it is a basically uh, a, pr a private network uh, in which uh, your data will be pa passing through that particular server. <laughs> so, if you have, instead of uh, sir, it, uh, sir, basically, if I, if I uh, subscribe a VPN service, my data will first go to that VPN service server and then it will go into the <coughs> internet instead of directly communicating with the internet. So, so don't you think that the VPN itself is a danger? Sir, I think sir, both positive and negative, negative sides of it are there. there. So, for example, journalists use VPN for security in uh, governments which are restrictive on journalists and I think negative side is also there. It can be used for um, uh, terrorists and these kind can also be used, sir. Uh, Redmi or Samsung? Means I'm, I just want a simple advice. Uh, yes, Being sir. a non-technical person. Sir, I think uh, the inner functioning of the companies, uh, it's very hard to say, sir, but uh, I think every company is using user data to uh, improve their AI. So in that sense, sir, I think uh, all companies somehow do that. So basically you're saying that Apple is just doing branding and there is no technical basis to say that Apple means privacy more than Samsung means privacy. Uh, Sir, I basically sir, prefer open source, sir, so I think uh, as long as it is open source, I am good to go with it because you can look at the code and uh, people can do that. So, so are there any open source mobile manufacturers? So not the manufacturers, but the operating system we have, let's say Android, uh, that we have, we have open SSL algorithm also there for encryption, uh, the library is there. So, uh, yes sir, the manufacturer, open source manufacturer, sir, I think there is not a good enough market for that, so. So, you, can I s infer that Android is safer than iOS because it is open source? Uh, sir, I, sir, I believe that it is safer, sir. Okay. Recently, there was a Twitter takeover deal by Elon Musk. Yes, sir. So, do you think it is going to compromise the free speech on Twitter? 
uh, sir, the the whole uh, Twitter uh, acquisition, he is uh, the Elon Musk. Elon Musk has said that he aims to open source the algorithm that decides the feed on Twitter. So, so I, as long as he is open sourcing, is that I think it's a good thing uh, because then we can see how the data is being communic uh, how the feed is being generated. What do you think about the allegations which have been made against the Twitter that in the name of moderating the content? it selectively blocks the messages from some political parties or right or left uh, sir i think sir, the process uh, of uh, reviewing is not uh, 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 like open to the it's not it's not transparent in twitter i think that uh, it can be improved and i think twitter has also acknowledged that they are trying to but with a lot of uh, because a lot of amount of data is being generated and to regulate um, uh, to um, identify data on an individual basis it, I, I i think it gets difficult for a company also so i think but uh, more transparency is needed in that so what do you think about the social media guidelines which were issued by the government of india recently in this context right so so i think they were uh, very uh, they will be very helpful in that because the companies are required to the significant social media intermediaries are required to maintain a chief information officer and he has to respond within 24 hours and these kind of provisions are being made so i think it will be very helpful in managing this kind of hateful content or any uh, uh, any data any content which is not uh, relevant there okay my Second last question. Yes, sir. Uh, what uh, you said that your father's profession is agriculture. Yes, sir. What crops does he grow? So, so uh, right now uh, in the summer season, uh, sir, we are we, we are growing uh, bajra. Uh, so in the winter season, we went for uh, uh, wheat and uh, uh, mustard. So can you tell me the MSP of these three crops? This is my last question. Uh, 